Hello and welcome to another Come Dine With Us. My name is Kate and I'm going to be making the pudding portion of tonight's dinner party. So I hope you're okay. Sending love to everyone and happy Friday if you're watching it on a Friday. So you might have already watched, hang on, who's doing what? Ewan? No, Luke is doing the star, so let's find out what he made. Hello everybody, my name is Luke and I'm in charge of the star this week, which is going to be a throwback to one of my favourites as a child. It's going to be a cheesy mozzarella garlic bread and I'm bringing it back into the 2020 years with some homemade hummus and some harissa. So it's going to be like a garlic bread hummus thing. And Mr Carrington is making the main course tonight, so let's see what he is cooking up. Hello, I'm Ewan and tonight I'm going to be bringing you the main course. We're going to be heading back to the 90s and I'm going to be attempting to make Ikea's iconic meatballs. Hopefully you enjoyed your starters and your main course. I'm sure you did. I'm sure it was loads of fun and you are now here for your pudding. But before I tell you what I'm doing, you might have already seen a sneak peek on their channels. I've got to do my mug of the day and it's more of a cup of the day because it's, it's quite a small cup. And this cost me, it's a Pip Studio beautiful little cup mug, mug, and this was 10p from a car boot sale, 10p, I think a couple of years ago, it's gorgeous, it's like blue and pink and gold, and it's my mug of the cup of the day, I'm not going to drink it though because it's too hot because I only just boiled it, right, okay, so I'm going to be making custard cream blondies, now this takes me back to my childhood, we're doing a throwback, throwback, no, hang on, throwback, Throw, throw back, oh I don't know what I'm doing, a throwback to um, our childhood or just a throwback to anything and I thought hmm hmm and then something popped up on Home Bargain's Instagram and I thought oh that's a good idea I could do that as my childhood throwback thing because I like eating, I've always loved eating and I've always had a very good relationship with food and um, my mum always used to feed us quite a lot when we were kids and growing up and she was very much a feeder and I, I love I love to eat but I feel I'm, I'm also feeding I'm cooking things which is brilliant so I'm really enjoying doing this series so I hope you're enjoying watching it so custard cream blondies biscuits malted milk is one of my earliest biscuit memories I remember being in nursery I'm going to take myself back now Take myself back, it's like hypnosis, but not, this might be a bit weird. I don't, know, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not swimming. I'm at nursery, right? And I'm three or four, and I've got a little thing of milk, and then I've got my malted milk biscuit, and I'm loving life, and I can picture it. It can take me back there, but then I've got another memory of nursery where I'm eating sand. Eating sand, and I can still remember. Anyone else eat sand? Or was it just that me? Just that me? What? Was that just me? <laughs> So this, I'm not going to eat sand anymore. That was a really bad, crunchy experience, but I prefer the custard cream. No, malted milk ones. And I also have very fond memories of custard creams. That's why I'm doing a custard cream blondie. I wanted to show you some malted milks. You probably know what a malted milk is. It's just got a little cow on it. And that is like one of my earliest biscuit memories. I used to love those biscuits. I've actually, um, I'm going to get some more of those. I just don't have any in the house at the moment. So custard cream blondies, that's what I'm making. And I'm going to try and do this all by myself. Yeah, like a proper grown up without Lee, because Lee is busy. And I thought, do you know what? Well, he's not really busy. He's like sorting stuff out. Um, well, he's kind of busy. So I thought I can do this. Totally unplanned, but look how well I go with the custard creams. We're like one, look. Now you see me, now you see me. Now you see me, now you see me. We're like one. Custard cream person biscuit packet and biscuit person thing. <laughs> For this recipe, you will need 175 grams of butter, 200 grams of light brown muscovado sugar, 125 grams of caster sugar, and then what have we got here? Original custard powder, four t tablespoons, and you'll also need two teaspoons of vanilla extract, lots of custard creams, because you're going to break some up and then put them on the cake, self-raising flour how much 250 grams two eggs oh i need to go and get me eggs and then some chocolate so we've got some white chocolate here to drizzle on top and this one is to go in the actual blondies i don't know what the difference is lee bought these so i'll, I'll maybe use both of them yeah so i'm going to need all of this i'll probably put all of that chocolate in maybe and i'll just grab my eggs and i'm just going to weigh everything out with my weighing scales and these were a bargain I got them from a charity shop, they're only three quid, so I'm gonna wear everything out on there. By the way, the lanterns are LED candles, so do, do not worry, they're just LED ones, so nothing's gonna, you know, set on fire. In my pan, I've got the brown sugar, the caster sugar, the custard powder, and loads of butter. It was nearly a whole pack of butter, so I'm just gonna melt this 
on the oven. And on the Home Bargains recipe, it says melt until smooth. So that is perfect. It smells so nice. And now I've got to leave it to cool for five minutes, then add two eggs and the vanilla extract and the self-raising flour. It's been about five minutes, so I'm now gonna add the eggs. It was like a little face. And now I'm adding in the self-raising flour. And it goes. Rufus is snoring away in case you can hear him. And I'm just gonna mix that. I'm just mixing cake mix, mixing eggs and sugar and stuff like this. And I've just put in 120 grams of white chocolate and I'm gonna crumble up nine custard creams. I've just cut the chocolate on this bit of baking paper because it need it was too chunky. And I thought, why crumble when you can when you can bash them? Ah! So I'm gonna bash these and then Sorry guys, just in the recipe, it's nothing personal. And then I'm gonna shove them in. Shove them in! I'm just bashing custard creams, smashing, bashing. Oh, uh oh, I think they're probably done. In they go, just crumbling them as they go in. Then I'll mix this all together. I've got more than 10 here, or nine. I think there's like 11 or something. That's okay. Oh, whoops, we'll get on the floor. Ah, the table. There we go. But I'll mix all of this together. This smells absolutely wonderful. Uh-oh, I opened up the white chocolate and just had some. Then Lee came in and he ate some as well. But there's enough. This is the other chocolate. It's really nice. Right, this is just about done. I'm going to schlop it into the baking tray. Oh, I'll try anyway. Just putting it all in my tray. I'll put some baking paper and it didn't say to but i guess it'd be easier once it's out of the oven but i'm gonna get the rest in there i'm just putting stuff in a brownie tin getting it shoving it shopping it right in you're gonna taste this come and taste it oh so nice and now i'm doing the fun bit the custard creams are just going in just had a few here and I'll put that one, put that one there. There we go. And then I'm going to put the chocolate, bits of chocolate just around. How good does that look? I know this is so bad for you, but you know, it's pudding for our dinner party. It's going to be amazing. This is going to go in the oven for, it says, 30 minutes, 180 degrees, gas mark four. We've got an arga. So I'm gonna set an alarm for 20 minutes and then see how it's getting on. How good does that look? Yay, well done me. Okay, it's gonna go in the arga, fingers crossed. I don't want any burnt meringue type of an outcome. Hi there, we're an oven glove and we just wanted to say hello. Do you wanna see what the blondies look like? I can't hear you. Oh, do you know what's strange? We sound just like the onions from last week. How weird. Okay, gonna get the blondies for you. Here you go! Ta-da! And I think they are pretty much perfect. So they look quite dark there, I think. But once the chocolate gets drizzled on them, I think they'll look even better. Oh, right, I'm gonna leave those there, let them cool and go and get ready. I'm just choosing a dress. It's out of these two. I did wear that in a vlog the other day. It's lovely and quite summery. So I've got that one from Matalan or this ASOS one, which doesn't look like much there, but it's just really comfortable. And this was a pound from a charity shop. So I think I'm gonna chuck this one on and I'm gonna copy or try and copy you and a Luke. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm just waiting for it to cool down and it's kind of sunk in the middle, which is a shame. So I don't think the Arga cooked it properly because um it's cooked on the outside and on the bottom and then the middle is a bit sunken -y. but fingers crossed it'll still be all right it's really this is such a heavy cake biscuit thing i'm gonna put it back down so i'm gonna drizzle some of the white chocolate on it i was having a chocolatey disaster so lee has come in to help me do this bit oh it's going hard already <laughs> hello oh no it's meant to be like do you meant to have a thing to drizzle it properly <laughs> oh no, it's ruining it. That's okay, we can just do splodges. Do you want to help me splodge? That's okay. Splatter splodge. You're eating. What does that mm. taste like, that stuff? It's hot. So it wasn't. <laughs> splodge, splodge, splodge. Do you want to splodge someone? Yes. Yeah. 
Toby says, Absolutely oh nice. no. Ooh. It doesn't look like the one that Home Bargains had on their Instagram, but I'm sure it'll taste lovely. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna chop it up now. I've just made it over to the greenhouse. It's really raining outside. So I just ran across with like this. I had my jacket on and my tray running across. I can now show you my outfit properly. So it's just this really simple dress. I'm glad I didn't wear heels because I would have um, sunken in them running across to the greenhouse. It's nice in here um, when it's raining though, because you feel like you're in a caravan. You can just hear like the raindrops. It's quite cold. It's quite chilly in here. So I'm going to set out our blondie brownie things and uh, pour us a cup of tea. I've set out the table beautifully. So I'm hoping to pull back some marks because the table, look, presentation is everything. So here they are. The lovely custard cream blondies, my vintage china, the teapots from the charity shop, I think they're Disney, more custard creams in case you were peckish or if you didn't like the blondie, another teapot, that one's empty but it looks pretty and some milk. I think this looks lovely and kind of throwing back because obviously the vintage china is old, the plate is old, throwback for the teapots because there was someone else's throw back to last week with the fake plants and throw them back with the uh, the milk because it was from the shop the other day. I've just faffed around for ages. Okay, so are you ready for your pudding? I'm sorry if it took a while again. I'm gonna pour some tea in my vintage china, darling. And this is from, well, not from, well, yeah, it's from a car boot sale. I got a little set of, I think there were six of these with a milk jug and some, obviously, little trios and I think they were eight or ten pounds for the set from a car boot sale and it's Paragon by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen China Potters Potters Paragon fine bone china so cute and I'm going to pour it I'm going to do it over here I don't want to go on the um, tablecloth I say tablecloth it's um it's a bed sheet that tea looks good would you like a tea you can have something stronger if you like it's completely up to you I've got my tea cup of the day. A little bit of this, I think it's still hot. Mm. Perfect, perfect cup of decaf tea because it's quite late now. Right, so it's time to tuck into my blondies. And I think I was more excited. I'm more of a savoury person. Oh, I've got some sugar there. I'm more of a savoury person than a sweet. Although I do love chocolate. I do love a cake, but I would say I'm more crisps. If I was snacking, this isn't snacks though, but yeah, I'm more savoury. I think I prefer the samosas. I'm gonna get, I'm not gonna eat all of this. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna give it a good go. So there we go. Here is your starters, not starters. Here is your pudding. So just grab that from me. There you go, have you got it? And it's now time for the taste test. I've got a bit of everything. I've got custard cream, some chocolate, and then some gooey mixture stuff. I think it's not meant to be this gooey. It's quite gooey. And it's quite tricky in the Arga because any longer and it would have really burnt. So I think the best thing, if you're rubbish at cakes, to use a proper oven. So maybe I'll do that next time. I did do that in the last one, I think, for some of it. Burnt the meringues. Um, right, okay, let me taste this and stop waffling on. I think the outer bit might be the nicest bit. Mmm. Quite hard. <laughs> it is yummy, but it's extremely sweet. It's so sweet. So if you love this sweet stuff, you're probably gonna love this. It's really nice. I did prefer the cake, the eat a mess cake. I think that was nicer, but I think Toby's gonna love this. So maybe I should do a really simple cake mix next time with no tricky bits. Mm. That tea is lovely though, I'll tell you that much, the tea, decaf tea. Flipper tea is very nice. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't watched your Start it in your main yet with you and Luke. Make sure you go and watch them. You should have already watched them. I'm sure you have anyway. I'll link their videos in the description just in case because some people might have had their pudding first. I don't know. But their videos will be linked in the description. While you're over there, make sure you subscribe to them as well because they're just so lovely. I'm very, very grateful um, to be doing YouTube and so grateful to have friends like them. Honestly, they're just so lovely. We're very grateful. I'm going to drink some more of my tea. Be our guest. See, I got the one out because, oh, look how awkward my arm is there. I got this teapot out because you're our guest. And I thought that's quite nice because be our guest and there's a teapot with be our guest. So I'm going to have a pot of tea 
straight, well, probably not the straight all of this, but some tea. So I'm going to strip over my white tablecloth, bed cloth, and hang out here for a little bit more. Listen to the rain that's kind of stopped. And I will speak to you very soon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. And as I said before, Ewan and Luke's videos will be in the description. And I hope you like our throwback. Come darling with us. And I hope you enjoyed it. Next week, we've got something really fun. And I've got some good ideas about that one as well. So yeah, that'll be here next week at five o'clock. And I will be back in the morning at 8am. So don't forget to join me then. And I'm on Instagram. I'm Kate McCabe. And my house account is Kate's Homely Home. And I put lots of pictures up, including pictures of our greenhouse as well. I love this little space. So thanks for watching. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Have a nice weekend.